It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. They put the purple flags up on the beaches around Daytona last weekend, but hundreds of people ignored the warnings, and that's how over 800 people got stung by jellyfish. Meanwhile, out here in Southern California, the ocean's been really rough, with 10-foot waves and rip currents down in Orange County. And I can attest to that. We live by the ocean, and we saw boats being thrown up and down in the ocean right here. And if you saw it, you'd think, no way in hell am I going to go for a swim in it. At least, I hope that's how you'd react. But there were hundreds of people who had to be rescued this week. I have this app on my phone that lists all the emergencies around here, and Ocean Rescue kept coming up from Manhattan Beach to Newport Beach. And that's because people hear the warnings, and they see the warnings, and they still think, nah, I got this. Now, if you're a surfer, at least an experienced surfer, I get it. You're probably experienced at dealing with the currents, you know what to do if you get caught up, and it's worth the trouble to ride the really big waves. But that's not who's getting stung by jellyfish or getting swept out to Fiji. It's the people who really shouldn't be going any deeper than, well, say, ankle deep. And the, hey, watch this, guys. But that's the same as the people who take selfies with bears and walk to the edge of a waterfall or stray from the path and end up being incinerated in a geyser. Some people, maybe a majority of people, were born without the self-preservation gene. They hear the warnings, they read the warnings, but something in their brain tells them the warnings don't apply to them. Maybe they have the the what's-the-worst-that-can-happen gene, but they endanger the first responders who have to go help them when the worst does happen. All of this is to say that this weekend, when you see or hear a warning at the beach or the pool or the park or wherever you are, listen to it. Don't take unnecessary chances just because you can't imagine things going wrong. They can, and too often they will. And you don't want to be a statistic. Now, it's perfectly safe to follow me on Twitter. That's PM Simon for my regular stuff and talk topics for the weird news. Have a great and safe weekend. I'll talk to you Monday. And until then, as always, that's enough.